today um, we are solving another problem in the starting out with Java book in chapter 5. The, the problem is uh, it's called distance traveled. So the word problem um, says uh, this. Uh, the distance a vehicle travels can be calculated as value as, as follows. Distance equals speed time is um, times time. And uh, for example, if a, if a train travels 40 miles per hour uh, for two hours, the distance traveled is 120 miles. Design a class that that uses the speed of a value in, of, a, of a vehicle uh, in miles per hour and the number of hours it has traveled. It should have a method named get distance that returns the distance in miles that the vehicle has traveled. Demonstrate the class in a um, in a in a program that that uses a loop to display the distance a vehicle has traveled for each hour of a time period specified by the user. For example, if a vehicle is traveling at 40 miles per hour for a three-hour time period, it should display a report number a report similar to the one shown below and they wish to show um, they show a, 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 an hour and a distance travel for example the first hour the vehicle has traveled 40 miles the second hour the uh, vehicle has traveled 80 miles the third hour the vehicle has traveled 120 miles um, and also they, they require input uh, validation they say do not accept negative number for speed uh, and do not um, accept any value less than one for time time traveled so let's uh, let's solve it so they they, they require uh, two classes one class is the one we are working now and and we have to create uh, this class uh, two variable that would hold the speed and the hours traveled and also the this class has to uh, return a method that would uh, calculate um, the distance um, so we would we would uh, create uh, two variables private int uh, private int uh, speed and private int hours and also we have to create a constructor uh, distance traveled um, uh, we create a, a, a constructor so that when we instantiate it later it would allow us to enter uh, the numbers int speed int hours and also whenever the user enters the speed it has to be equal to the variable in this class Okay, so also they, they said we have to we have to create a method uh, that um, that would return that would return the distance and the distance formula that they, they gave us was um, a speed time is hours. So we have to create um, a way to test uh, this this class. 
So we'll call test. BSVM as a shortcut for uh, for the main method when you want to create a, the main method in Java. So we have to ask the user for the hours. So we have to create uh, a, the scanner class. Scanner. Uh, uh, system. Dot in. Enter uh, the speed is enter okay int speed scanner next int. You have to also ask the user. Uh, we have to also ask the user the hours int hours uh, hours scanner so when the user enters the speed and the hours the vehicle has traveled we have to instantiate um, uh, we have to instantiate The, the distance class it, re it, it requires two variables is speed and hours and they said we have to uh, demonstrate the class in a program uh, that uses a loop to display the, the distance a vehicle has traveled for each for each hour of a time period specified by the user for example if a if a vehicle is traveling at 40 miles per hour for three hour time period it should display a report similar to the one down below Okay, so we have to create a for loop int i equal one int i equal one i less than or equal to to the hours i is incremented by one each time. So we have to uh, we have to print the hour first plus we have to create uh, we have to add a space two tabs then uh, we have to remember the formula which was um, the speed times the hour. Um, so each uh, the the speed is uh, is stored in i so i no uh, i is stored as the hours i time is speed each time each hour that passes there would be another 40 miles so i think uh, this this would work so let's run it enter the speed let's say uh, 40 miles enter um, hours let's say three um, yeah it it is similar it is similar to the example the first hour the vehicle travels 40 miles the second hour the vehicle travels 80 miles and the third and last one, the vehicle has traveled 120 miles. But their example also had a, a header. So 
maybe we'll say our our and and distance traveled then we we add another empty space beneath that so let's let's try it again um, enter the speed for the miles enter hours three um, it, it works but it doesn't the tab um, the tab is not working properly so we can do instead of using print line we can use uh, a print F right you can use print uh, mm -hmm. you can say percent dash 20 as percent percent dash s and a new line so uh, our and distance traveled I think if I'm not if I'm not mistaken I think that was the the way to instant to to add a, a, a tab yes let's check it for the Oh, okay yeah it's correct so it would we would add this to to the to the print line do, do, do. Print F I have to remove this also this would return an int which which is not which uh, our format doesn't accept so we have to uh, we have to cast it we have to cast it in a string so I think now now it works um for the tree yeah now it works uh, but but our program is not it's not finished yet because we have to we have to add uh, input validation the the problem said the, the challenge says uh, do not accept a negative number for the speed right so if I for example when they say enter the speed if I enter negative one there is nothing stopping it right but the but the the problem says we have to um, we have to uh, validate that so the the way we would validate it um, would be a while loop you know we would say while the speed is less than or equal to zero um, if that condition is satisfied we have to uh, we have to ask the the user again for the speed you have to ask the user um, you have to ask the, the user we would say error if he reaches here and also there is another validation for the hours 
uh, do not accept any value less than um, less than one for time uh, traveled. So we also have to validate uh, the hours while hours is less than or equal to zero um, error enter enter our hours hours so I think uh, now now our program is finished I think so let's run it enter the speed uh, let's let's test it with a negative number error let, let us test it with zero okay 40 let, let us test it with negative 2 of oh, negative okay hours yeah I think now it's uh, it's complete we created uh, the the program the distance uh, we created the distance uh, traveled class um, with the method uh, get distance which returns the speed uh, times uh, time or hours and uh, we added the constructor uh, which would assign whatever the speed and the hours are to these variables uh, which then can be used uh, in this method in this class and um, they said create a, another class that would dem demonstrate you know the, the, the this class creates a scanner class um, which allows us to use the keyboard then we ask the user uh, for the speed then we validate it we validate it to make sure that the user does not enter a negative number or a zero um, then we we did the same with hours or the time uh, so that uh, the user cannot un uh, enter a negative numbers and after that we created a, vo a for loop that would uh, calculate uh, each hour uh, the vehicle has traveled and the distance it, it covered and we added a, a formatting um, functionality and uh, so that it, it would appear um, more more readable it would it would make it uh, more pretty so I think that that is that is it I would I would post it the, the source code um, in the description and I hope you guys uh, liked it uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.